Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We're back with another fragrance review today. And I'm pretty excited, guys. It is my day off today, so I can't wait to give you guys this fragrance review. But this one right here, this fragrance comes from the house of Wilhelm Parfumery. And this is a new house that to me, like I haven't reviewed anything from this house, but I have heard a lot of really good things about their fragrances. Now this fragrance I'm about to review wasn't my first choice when it came to Wilhelm Parfumery. I think my first choice was Poets of Berlin, or was it Oud Affair, or one of those guys. But the thing is, you guys told me about this one. You guys ratcheted up the hype and y'all said, hey, you gotta review this because it's pretty popular right now. So I diverted my attention and when I found out about the name of this fragrance, I said, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> I can see why it's pretty famous you know, in the Fragcom space right now. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys, okay? Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel. Every time you guys tell me about these pretty hype perfumes, I purchase the samples immediately, and that comes from all the income from this channel, guys. So keep it coming. If you haven't liked and subscribed, it's just a couple clicks, and if you have already done so, thank you so much for your support. Now, the fragrance that we will be talking about today is none other than Wilhelm Perfumery's Mango Skin. That's right, Mango Skin. The name itself got me super interested guys because mango is pretty popping right now okay it's a great top note that when used properly you're gonna get a pretty nice perfume and you've heard about god of fire recently that was one of the fragrances i've reviewed a lot of people love it within the fragcom space and beyond and this one right here is another fragrance that i've heard is pretty popular also within fragcom and beyond fragcom now mango skin obviously this fragrance right here is the chief identifying note is going to be mango it's right there on the name and this fragrance joins the ranks of those fragrances that do have the chief identifying note right there on the name like for example i recently reviewed royal tobacco and tobacco sapphire those have tobacco on their names as well as soul of oud that has oud in its name and of course you have like for example by killian lemon and zest that has lemon in the name so obviously what's really great about fragrances like this is that it gives you guys a precursor as to what you can expect with the name right there you already know it's not gonna smell like orange it's not gonna smell like lemon the note that you can expect of course right here in this fragrance is gonna be mango now of course with that mango note this fragrance does have a lot of fanfare but of course you are also going to have those people that are negatively talking about this fragrance and the common thing I keep hearing is that this fragrance is compared to a very simple Bath and Body Works mango spray or mango lotion. That's something I hear a lot on people that are kind of like not liking or hating on this fragrance. And of course, that would be horrible if this fragrance actually smelled like just a Bath and Body Works like $8 lotion or spray. So that's one of those things I am going to debunk. Not only am I going to give you guys the scent description and scent development of this fragrance right here, I'm also going to address if this fragrance really does smell as simple as an $8 body spray. And that, I mean, obviously if it does, then you'd be better off paying for a body spray. But we will find out today, guys. Let's go spray this thing right now. Mm. All right, guys, let's talk about Wilhelm Perfumery's Mango Skin. Now, right here in the opening notes, you are going to get, of course, mango, as well as blackberry and black pepper right here, guys. Now, this is really interesting. I really want to talk about the opening because this is really something that, A, you're already expecting because that's the name, like I said. That's a chief identifying note. You already expect that you're going to get mango. But, of course, the question is, what else are you going to get uh, on top of that mango? So, right here in the opening of Mango Skin, obviously, you are going to get the chief identifying note, which is the mango, okay? And the mango right here is a ripe yellow mango, okay? That is the type of mango that you are getting right here. And this mango, you are going to get an abundance of it. So it's not gonna be like a note that just resides in the opening part of this fragrance. Actually, 
part of the mango bleeds into the mid and this mango is a wonderful beautiful mango now the additional description i'm going to tell you guys about this mango is that it is kind of balanced okay it's balanced in the sense that it is not going to be your bright like super summery mango and then at the same time it does have this comforting quality that actually goes into the mid pretty well so this is what i can say about this mango it is not super bright and it also isn't like an immediate curve although it can be a curve note right here because the mango isn't like a total curve you can wear it during the daytime in summery months or in summery places places where it's really hot because this fragrance has that comforting nature guys and a potential curve this one can also be used in cooler months or nighttime occasions and that's what i find really interesting right here now the other two notes right here in the opening of mango skin are going to be your counter notes these notes provide the spikes that will arouse your senses as you are smelling this mango and you're going into nirvana smelling this sweet mango right here you are going to get spikes of that blackberry which is tart it's going to wake your senses up and of course there is that little zing of that black pepper right there okay so these notes these two notes blackberry and black pepper basically balance it out to waken up your senses right here in the opening because like i said the mango right here will put you in a nice calming comforting mood but then these are the notes that are kind of like going to wake you up these are the notes that are going to make this opening right here like summer worthy or you know it'll make it summer appropriate because you have these lingering spikes as you are smelling mango this opening right here by mango skin in my opinion is an impactful one it is strong i will say this it's past the aura scent once you spray this right here the mango the blackberry it will project past you know two three feet for sure and i will say this that if you haven't collected many fruity scents then this could be a possible love at first sniff now because of this mango blackberry combination with the blackberry lingering around this one right here this opening will remind you possibly of a tropical vacation that's for sure like hawaii or the caribbean it has the tropical effect even though i will say this there are other effects that this fragrance does but this specific intro right here if you spray it in the high heat it will remind you of that tropical vacation that you had maybe in St. Lucia, the Bahamas, or Hawaii. It is a wonderful, lingering, fruity intro right here. Now, 30 to 35 minutes later, you are going to get the mango still going into the mid. Like I told you, the mango is quite abundant. You're still going to get your mango fix past the 35-minute mark. However, the one thing you're going to get that I like about this fragrance is the continuity. On the mid notes, you are going to get Wild Oris, Black Lotus, as well as Jasmine right here. Now, the Wild Oris to me is a great continuity note. It does smell like violet and it is kind of powdery. But then again, remember what I told you guys about the mango kind of being like a potential curved note with the comforting feel that it has and basically the wild oris does continue on with that slight powderiness it does continue on from that comforting phase so it's still going to be comforting heading into the mid but now you've got violet smells as well as that oris like texture and feel now the black lotus and the jasmine here again great continuity they do provide some continuity as those counterbalance notes to this warm comforting feel presented by the oris so you're going to get the jasmine that lingering jasmine and black lotus right there as you are smelling this fragrance but again you are going to get a continuance of that mango wild oris is going to be the base of this mid right here i like it i like the continuity i like the fact that you are getting more of the same it's just like a nice floral violet transition now i'm sure upon hearing about these mid notes you guys and gals are probably wondering if this fragrance is unisex or does it lean femme now my answer to this is that it really depends okay you must test this fragrance because i think the margin 
of is it unisex or femme is so small that it's gonna be subjective. It's gonna be dependent on the wearer. Right here on the intro, guys, the intro is pretty tropical in nature. It's like a fruity, tropical scent that to me is very unisex, okay? The intro is very unisex. There are no femme indicators right here in the opening. Now, right here in the mid, though, is where the contention happens because you have these floral notes, okay? Usually, they'll put like a different note, like as a modifier here to kind of like make it more unisex, maybe like a heavier note. But right here in the mid, it's purely florals. And the only thing right here that will make it kind of unisex is the mango continuing into the mid. It depends on you because the margin of like, is it femme or unisex is so small that it's really gonna depend on the wearer. Now, upon experiencing this beautiful opening to the mid, I will say this, this fragrance will appeal more to the emotions of the wearer, okay? It's kind of like that Sun Song feel when I smell Sun Song. It will definitely appeal to the emotions of the wearer. And maybe those are the women because women are more emotional than men, but definitely it will do that. It will give you this Nirvana of smelling this fragrance. You are going to get, like I said, that fruity Nirvana, that comforting feel that continues from your mango all the way to the wild oris and then you have these lingering counter notes to awaken your senses from the blackberry to the lotus as well as the jasmine so it is 100 percent a feel-good perfume is gonna appeal to your emotions so if you want to feel good about yourself and have a really really good aura I think this is the perfume to do it. Now, three hours in, and that's a full three hours of enjoying this balance, guys. This is when the curve comes in. I mean, it's eventual because the mango is a potential curve note already. So it does happen within three hours. Right here in the base, you are going to get the notes of sugar, vanilla, as well as patchouli, guys. And right here, guys, upon hearing the sugar, sugar and fruity fragrances, if you know your fragrances, we've smelled this in a couple of fragrances I've already reviewed. Number one would be Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And of course, the second one is a recent one, Kajal. Almaz okay and this sweet sugar ending is pretty popular because it's a beautiful curve like I said three hours in after you get that beautiful lingering balanced smell with that mango it does go into comfort mode and the sugar is definitely right there with the vanilla to provide that sweetness that comfort and a little bit of powderiness I'd say that continues from the auris and it is going to be pretty similar as your love don't be shy as well as your almaz the only big difference is of course you'll still get the counter note of patchouli right here patchouli as you guys know is a very popular and well used base note and you are gonna get an abundance of patchouli right here so if you love patchouli you'll get it right here in the dry down but for sure what's gonna happen here is that curve with that vanilla and brown sugar love don't be shy style it gets more comforting and warming and then you've got that patchouli. So this dry down is pretty wonderful. It happens three hours in to this fragrance, so it's not gonna be a dry down that you can barely smell. It is a prominent stage that will continue for hours and hours. So if you like that brown sugar vanilla ending from those aforementioned fragrances, well, you're gonna get it right here and you're gonna get it for a few hours. And with that being said, this fragrance does not smell like mango spray or mango body lotion, okay? I mean, obviously guys, it's a mango themed scent. So you are gonna get mango without a doubt. And of course, this is the dilemma that a lot of perfume makers have when they put the chief identifying note as the name because it's either you're going to give the people what they expect or you're not and you're going to make a little bit of change or a lot of changes and that could mess up the whole outcome of the fragrance so for example with tobacco with tobacco sapphire by bodicea the outcome was like not expected i feel like the people didn't get what they wanted and so it wasn't as big as say amwaj royal tobacco which gave 
a balanced like interpretation of tobacco. There was enough tobacco to make people go, oh, that's what I expected. But at the same time, there was also like a change where people wanted something different and it was there. This one right here, Mango Skin, gives a lot of mango. It's exactly what you expect out of it. But there are still going to be some nuances here that's gonna make it not so linear, especially that dry down right here, especially those lingering notes I mean, the mango is going to be there, but hey, you've got enough counter notes to make it smell different. And usage wise, again, what I like about this fragrance, the composition is that it has some balance to it. Okay. Like I told you, you've got that tropical lingering vacation like intro, which makes it very, very usable for the lands of always summer. Or if you are going to a tropical vacation, smells perfect. But at the same time, guys, those lingering notes also have a base that is comforting from the mango to the wild oris to the brown sugar and vanilla i mean this one right here is like going out on a date at nobu so that is what i like the versatility where anytime anywhere nature of mango skin it is a grabber and so i'm not surprised why a lot of people like it because it is pretty versatile now performance wise this fragrance does have really good sillage and projection i told you guys it's an impact scent not only for you but for others and this sillage is pretty strong it's going to last for some hours right there and to me significant scent total it's a nine hour significant scent right here for mango skin very very decent guys and again it's perfect for events just casual events where you're either wanting to just feel good and make others feel good around you or it's also a nighttime you know really sensual scent as well now price wise it's 245 for 100 ml and 150 for 50 ml i think y'all should try it that is my opinion i think y'all should get the sample set i'm about to do that right now i'm about to get the sample set of wilhelm perfumery but i think you guys and gals should get the sample set first at 50 bucks and try this mango skin out if it is full bottle worthy for y'all. But in my opinion, for those that are looking for a fruity grabber, that's pretty balanced, like I said, I think you may have found it right here, a full bottle worthy fruity fragrance. But again, try it first. All right, so that is it. That is my review of Wilhelm Perfumery's Mango Skin. I'm sure a lot of y'all have tried or owned this fragrance. Let me know on the comments below what y'all think about this fragrance. What's your feedback? What do you like the most about it? Or what didn't you like about it if you didn't like this fragrance? Let me know on the comments below. There are no right or wrong answers. And again, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys. Again, it does help the channel in a big way. We are headed to 13,000, guys. So please continue your support. And I will be back with another Wilhelm Perfumery review. Just hang on tight, guys. Or comment below what you guys want me to review next. And until then, this is Troy D. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye.